Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get some really good action positions and poses to your drawings by going right from stick person to fully fleshed out character. Who's with me? We're going to start off with a typical running pose. That's a nice action shot that people like to draw. So I would always, I think, unless I'm proving myself wrong, I'd always start with the back of the spine. So just come down at a sort of a 45 degree angle and then from that bottom point, come up slightly and down again. Now, that's the front leg. The back leg just is more or less a continuation of the spine, just down like that, and then up. Now, the front arm is down and up. The back arm, more or less a straight line from that, is up and down. So you get this big sort of series of straight lines. The head then, the head is going to be in there somewhere. I'm drawing these a wee bit heavier than I, I should be, just so you can see them. Always remember when you're doing your sketches, do it really lightly so it's easily rubbed out. Now the feet, feet can be something like this for the time being. We'll, as always, tidy them up later. The hands, a little sort of a triangle just for the time being. Now we're going to flesh it out. So I again we'll start with the body or the back. We'll give this person a sort of a running vest so just you can do a couple of wee wavy lines as if they're blowing in behind them and because he's running so fast and just so just fatten the body out a little bit Maybe give it a little armhole there and a collar. Now, we'll do the leg. Now, we'll do the front leg, which is the closest one to you, going forward. So just using your stick that you've already drawn as the top of the leg, just come on round it around here and Give it a few wee waves as well because he is wearing clothes and they're never going to be dead straight. I'll just give them a few flaps and folds. And then just like that. And then you can just sort of round the front of it a wee bit as well and take that straightness off it. Just as simple as that. Now, the back leg, same, same principle. Give it a few wee folds and creases. But more or less going with your original line. Uh, might give that a wee elasticated bottom just because wee details like that um, really sort of help bring a little bit of life to a picture. Now there's a very important thing to remember when somebody's walk, if you're drawing somebody walking or running or anything like that, whatever leg is forward it's the opposite arm that's forward. So in this case his right leg is forward, so that means his right arm is going to be back. Okay? So that means that this is the one that's closest to you going forward, so this is the arm that's closest to you going back. And that's a very important thing to get right. We'll give him little bony arms here. Just want to make it nice and cartoony. Just tidy that up. We uh, sweat band around the wrist. Now you're not going to see any of this arm that's behind the head. So just you can start the other arm here. We pointy elbow. Another wristband. Keep him cool. Now when he's running his hands are closed, right? Closed like a fist, so that means it makes them easier to draw. So just really draw your triangle and do four wee humps like that, and that's his knuckles. You don't need to do the fingers. So that's easy. Now, the back hand is slightly different because you're seeing it like this. See the way my hand is there? You can see the thumb and the four fingers. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw the thumb up, out, and down. See that? Up, out and down and then just fatten that, give that the wee muscle there, the heel of the thumb. 
Now the other fingers, one, two, three, four. And these ones, that there'll be a bit, the thumb is going to be hiding a bit of that first finger, but just after the thumb, finish it there. This one, finish it here. This one, finish it here. This one, finish it here. And then you've just got that little bit of the hand finished. So see the way that is? The thumb is sitting there and the fingers are closed over like that. Okay, even though it's a cartoon, it's still, it's still nice to get these things right. Now let's go with the foot. We'll leave the head to last. This foot can just be a big sort of cartoon type shape. And then the back one is going to be out running that way. Right, so you can give that a couple of stripes if you want. And maybe we can give the legs a couple of stripes. Just to get sort of run trousers. We'll not do ones on the inside of the back. And I'm going to draw the head now, so I want to get rid of some of these original lines. Now, let's give him a sort of a big happy head. He's getting that runner's born. So, give him a wee cheek there, going down into a chin, and then, so basically just like a U shape. In the middle of that U shape, you can give him a nose and a nostril. And uh, say, let's just say it's the start of the run, so he's still smiling. <laughs> the panting and, and all has still to come. Two A's. Now, everyone draws faces in cartoons in their own style. Everyone draws everything in cartoons in their own style. So you don't have to copy me, I'm just showing you how I do it. The importance of this lesson is more to use stick men to get good poses. And you really do have to use stick men. It makes a world of a difference to your finished drawing. Now he's looking a little bald there at the minute. So let's give him a headband. And uh, some hair sort of just sort of getting blown about all over the place. Come down over the headband and then hiding in behind it. All over the place. He is running and he's a wee bit worse for wear. So after that you can do don't be afraid to add little ornaments, you know, little, little badges to the clothes or whatever, or maybe a couple of little seam lines, maybe a, a stripe down the side, whatever you want. Once you get the figure done, don't be afraid to dress it up a little bit and add a little character to it all. Okay. Now, let's say he's running really fast, so a wee, tri a wee tip when you're drawing somebody moving really fast is to put him off the ground, okay, so he's just, boom, just flying in there, okay, and you could even do a couple of speed lanes, helps when you make the sound effects too, okay, from stick man to fleshed out, running, there you go. We're going to draw someone swinging now. So we'll do the spine coming down at this angle. Okay, and then the front leg up and back, and the back leg sort of down and then back. Then the arm that's going to be holding the rope can come up there and back, and then we triangular hand. You can see that and we're going to do the other arm just straight out like that and we'll come back to that in due time. Uh, the head then can be somewhere about here. Okay so can you see that it's a fairly good pose and bear in mind the reason we draw stickmen at the start is so we can get a real good action pose. Feet here. 
So that means that you're already on the right track when you go to flesh it out, which we're going to do now. Now, we're going to make this uh, like a little sort of pirate clothes. So let's bring a t-shirt coming down here, flowing back in the wind. Um, a little belly there and then the top and the leg the closest leg to you which is the right leg in this case just come down here you've got one line of it drawn just come down with the other one widen it out a little bit and then big pirate boots of that sort of fold at the top I've torn down and big uh, wrinkly boots coming up into a point maybe a heel who knows and now the back leg you've got one part of it drawn so then it's just a matter of widening it out getting your torn down and then the boot coming down. Now any bit that goes behind that leg, don't draw it. It's just going to be hidden behind that leg, okay? Things to get are very important. Maybe give the t-shirt a few stripes. Pirates are known to don the stripes. Now, this, this arm can, be, can come from there and at the elbow, so say that's the, f the top of the arm, and then the forearm comes out, and you can, I always like to do a little wide part, just to show that that's the shape of the arm. And the hand is down like that, okay? The hand's down like that, it's going to be holding the sword. So you can see that there, the thumb's coming down here, and the four fingers are wrapped, S similar to the runner except a different angle. So bring the thumb down and the four fingers can just be little sort of circles there. Then inside that, if you can see this, inside that's going to be the handle of the sword coming out here and in. So see the way it looks? You can see the top of it, you can see the edge of it, and you can only see a little bit of the bottom of it and it disappears in behind them fingers and that's what makes it look like the, she's holding the sword and it's not just floating there. So then do the front of the, so the handle like a nice big circular thing. There's a pirate sword, cutlass. And then we can do a big sort of curved blade. Maybe a few shines on it, like that. She's going to do damage with that. Now, we better do the face first. Because, oh no, actually we can do this arm. It's, it's well out of the way. So, again, that little wide bit. And then down into the skinny bit. Now, the, th the hand on this side is going to be knuckles. Same as you've done the runner. But you're also going to see a little bit of the thumb as she's holding on to that rope. Now the rope, in case you can't just visualise this, the rope's going to be coming down here. And then once it comes below the hand, it's going to be blowing back the way she's swinging from. So you can just sort of do a nice wee S shape there or whatever, just to show that it's blowing back. Now we bring her face down here. Uh, in a curve, just like the same as the runner, do a U shape, and in the middle of that, give her her nose, and then you can bring the A up here, and let's give her an, an A patch on the other A. She is a pirate after all, so let's give her an A patch with a wee cross on it and a headband, bandana, I should say. She spells trouble, this one. 
Sure. So we just give her smiling as well, similar to the runner. In another video, I'll be going through different expressions, show you how to give your character different expressions and different faces. So we'll go into a lot more detail in that one. Give her her ear. Now, uh, how about two ponytails? Probably best to tie her hair up when she's boarding another ship like this. Um, maybe a few polka dots on the bandana. Actually, let's do, just to add an extra wee bit of movement, let's add the tying part of the bandana blowing away out like that, give it a few dots. And that, putting the wee spots on it shows that it is part of that same bandana. Oh, we better give her a, a scabbard for her sword too. So we can give her a wee belt coming down here. Nice and loose and the scabbard sort of blown or waving back behind. So there you go, pirate coming to board the ship. Okay, there's something I want to show you when you're drawing stick men, if you're drawing them from the front. The first two we done were drawn from the side, so it was just the, the spine, the arms and the legs. When you're drawing them from the front, I find it's always best to give them shoulders as well, to give the body a little bit of width before you leave the stick man stage. So, we're going to draw a uh, body straight down, just the spine goes straight down this one. Give it a, a little T for the shoulders and also then give it maybe a slightly smaller one at the bottom for the hips. Just let the two legs just come straight down and the feet. Just something, something bizarre looking like that. The arms can go slightly out. And then the head, somewhere, somewhere in there. All right. So let's make this uh, make sense. Give the cuffs a little bit of width, <clears throat> and bring this down here. This is widening up the arm a little bit, and then carry that on down. Same here, bring this on down and carry it on down to the bottom of the t-shirt or jumper, whatever it is. It's not a t-shirt, it's got long sleeves. And that goes in there. Can you see that starting to take shape a little bit now? The legs then come down here as they are, then the trousers, and then just come up here. And then the same on the other side, down and up. And then you can just go straight across there. Feet. I'm going to do the feet pointing down. You'll see why in a minute. So you could do a little curve there and maybe the laces. Sometimes a handy way to draw on the feet. Now, the thumbs. Start off with the thumb and just come out from the wrist and up like that and then down. Alright, same on the other side, out from the wrist, up like that and then down. Now we're going to draw a line coming down here, going straight across there and coming up there. So he's either lifting something or hanging from something. How do we tell? Well, his feet are pointing down, so either he's standing on his toes, lifting something really heavy, or he's not touching the ground at all, he's hanging. And let's do him hanging from something, hanging on from a, a rope. The fingers then 
It can just be four little circles across the top. Same in this hand. One, two, three, four. And then from the last one, carry on, continue on the rope. Same again from the last one here, continue on the rope. Now, head comes down in the U shape again. I know we're drawing all these heads as the same, more or less. I'll just rub out some of these out or underlines. I know we're drawing all these heads more or less the same, but that's because we're going to concentrate in the other video more on different face shapes and expressions. For now, we'll not spend too much time on that because the main idea is to get the positions right. Uh, let's give this sort of hair coming down like that. Give any kind of hair you want, any kind of face you want. Big round nose. Uh, white eyes. We'll say a little bit about expression. Let's give white eyes, little small pupils, and worried eyebrows. that. And a sort of a mouth like that, which makes them think, oh god, not too sure about this. Uh, one final little bit just to finish it off. You can see there's a gap here between the rope and his wrist. So just bring a little line down there. And that finishes off the back of the hand. The final one we're going to do today is somebody jumping to catch a ball. So let's, as always, start with the spine. Do it at an angle, as if the person's reaching in. This leg coming down and back. The other leg going maybe straight across and sort of almost straight down but maybe slightly back. It doesn't really matter. That's the whole idea of doing stick people is that you have uh, you can play about with the, the angles at this stage and keep changing them to suit yourself. Now one arm going slightly up and then more steeply up. This arm give the shoulders and this arm can go up here and across. See that? And the head then would be somewhere in there. So let's start off with the body again. The t-shirt can come down here. Now as always the stick lines you did at the start they're just guide lines. You don't have to keep rigidly to them. You don't have to have them as one side of the thing. You don't have them have to have them down the center. It's just there as a guide so you can go roughly the right direction but you can always change your mind about things as you're as you're fleshing it out and you see something better to do. Give this girl some shorts here, football shorts and the front leg and the the further leg which is the right leg, her right leg in this case, in a knee, come down here and back. So it just stayed exactly with my stick line there because it was in the right place, I liked where it was, and down here and sort of big football socks. Can you see that? And then the other leg, come down here and down here, just like you had it. And come down here and then, oh, I better do the football socks. So the football socks is just basically a wide bit here and then just continue the leg on. Now this foot can come up here and this would be the bottom of the foot here so you could see the studs of the football boot. But this one would be more, you'd see the top of the foot. So you might see the front two studs, that's all. Okay, does that make sense? The arm, it's reaching for the ball. And then the other arm, also reaching for it. Of course. Um, let's do gloves. Looks like she's the goalie, so 
as always start with your triangle for the hand same here start with your triangle now this one thumb is going to be on the inside or the underside down and across and back and then the four fingers go start them off as lines or sticks and that gets you the position so and then you can fatten them out after you've done that you can tidy up all the wee things I've done her arms or her fingers a little bit long there so I'll come back and tidy that up now this time the thumb is going to be on the inside of this so out like that give the glove a bit of a cuff there at the wrist now before we do all the fingers here we're going to do the ball so then the other fingers the rest of the hand is behind that Okay, so it looks like she is going to catch it. Maybe give a wee couple of speed lines to that. And her face is going to be a little bit, little bit trickier this time because we're going to do her looking up at the ball. So starting here, do the usual sort, sort of U shape. I know it's not quite a U shape. And then get rid of your other lines behind it. Your stick lines just going to be a distraction. Now. See where these two lines stop? So come straight into the middle of that and do a little bump. That's going to be her nose. It's going to be different this time because she's looking up. So you're seeing the underside of her nose, the nostrils. And give her a little pursed mouth, like she's going, whew, nearly missed that. And a little chin. And then her eyes come up here. that and make sure that she's looking up at the ball with the pupils of her eyes and then just carry the head on like that so you can see that her eyes are very up near the top of her head and that's because she's you've changed the angle of the head that she's looking up um, maybe some hair blowing even a wee bit coming out over the arm might work well yeah you can see a little bit of her collar V there <coughs> and um, again maybe give a little stripe down the thing maybe a few stripes in the socks depending on what your football strip is a little badge and because she's jumping to catch the ball, put the ground down below, away from her. And you, again, you could do speed lanes. Like she's just taking off. You're going to catch that. And that would make more sense than once you get rid of your original sketch lanes for the sticks. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed that and picked up some tips along the way. When you're drawing your characters, there are countless other positions you can put them in, but as long as you want to start off with that stick person and make sure you're happy at that stage before you carry on with the details, you can't go wrong. Okay? Thanks. Enjoy. Keep drawing.